right, so now that we learned a little bit about bar graphs, let's answer three questions about bar graphs. Um, you watch the video, and if you haven't, watch it, about data analysis and frequency tables. And then you're going to complete these multiple choice questions below. All right, so number one, the graph shows the number of each flavor of cupcakes sold at, at the school bake sale. Remember the first thing I told you to do was to read the title? Cupcake sales. So what are they selling? Cupcakes. And then um, you want to look at the information on each axis. You see spice, swirl, cherry, lemon, and vanilla. And then down here you see the number of cupcakes that were sold. Number of cupcakes sold. So just instantly by looking at this, I can tell the most cupcakes that were sold were swirl. And the least that were sold were spice. Now, remember when we were in that last video and we had to figure out, look at that. Oh my, how many kids or how many cupcakes, sorry, how many spice cupcakes were sold? I know it's between 15 and 45, but it's not going to tell you, is it? You have to figure that out. Okay, so I want you to figure out how many numbers are between 15 and 45. Maybe do 45 minus 15. And then do 75 minus 45. You're going to get the same number because these are even. They're, they're evenly divided. And so you're going to think, what number is exactly between 15 and 45? And I'll do the first one for you. That number is 30. Okay. So I'm doing the first one for you. So Spice. How many people like spice? 30. So your job, guys, is to figure out how many people like to swirl cherry lemon and vanilla. And what you're going to do with that information is you're going to find out which frequency table matches the graph. Good luck. And then on number two, Mindy makes a tally chart to show the shirt colors of her classmates. She wants to display the data, so she wants to show the information somehow. Which of the following is an appropriate representation for Mindy to use? A bar graph? A stem and leaf plot? Both A and B? Or not here? Good luck! And number three. The frequency table, this right here, shows how many hot dogs, pickles, apples, and corn dogs were sold at a concession stand during football season. How many total hot dogs, pickles, and corn dogs were sold? Now, trick question, right? There's a reason this is capitalized. Because guess what's left out? Apples. So if I need to find a total of something, what am I going to do? What operation am I going to use? I want to find out how many total hot dogs, pickles, and corn dogs were sold. Good luck. <laughs> 